All right, back out with the uh, ice board blade setup. This time I put it on a reissue Santa Cruz. <clears throat> and I've got a, a Yao knockoff truck on there. Much shorter wheelbase than my other one. More concave in this deck. And um, narrower trucks, which is uh, makes things so much easier on ice. So that's the way to do it, I think. Anyway, let's try to keep it in frame here. So there you have it. Pretty awesome. Um, much less effort uh, with the shorter wheelbase and narrower trucks. Sweet. So there you have it. Uh, I still find I'm kind of getting used to it. I haven't had a lot of time to go out and, uh, and do it. Um, I'd like to get lower. Um, do some more carves but I'm still just kind of you know just figuring out exactly when the front or back will slip out uh, so yeah I'm still kind of holding back a bit but uh, really enjoying it highly recommend it totally awesome again it's ice board blade I'll put a link you can buy these put them on your board you can put them on a long board skate across your lake or wherever and uh, you could even put them on a street style board and um, skate around, which uh, Whitehorse should look into that. Because uh, if the young generation with their skateboards could keep skating all winter on the ice, well, wouldn't that be something for them? Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Imagine a, a wintertime ice skate park. Why not, right? All right, bye.